Hey guys, welcome to Wickham Road Music. I'm Pete. I'm Don. And we are here to look at gear. That's what we do. We love gear. Heck yeah. Six strings, <laughs> four strings, five strings. Any strings. Banjo strings. Ooh. It doesn't matter what it is. We love it and we are here to talk about it and, uh, and look at things maybe from a different perspective. We want to make sure that uh, we're getting enough information out there for not only just the beginner people, the intermediate people, and even, you know, those guys who are pros, you know, Heck that yeah. are playing out and so forth. We want to know what we're getting into when it comes to uh, maybe, you know, looking at who are next. Now, my wife says it this way. She goes, all of your guitars are like mistresses. She's the one who said that. So, men, when it's you're going to buy your next mistress, okay, or ladies, too, That's you right. can buy your guitars as well. What do you call a... What would be the word for, for that? For a, I have no idea. Well, we're going to that. Boyfriend, open up a whole new significant other, whatever best you friend. want to do. Best friend. Um, Let's do that. Your one. next best friend. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this beautiful Guild guitar. And this thing is off the charts. This is a Guild OM150CE, which uh, stands for Cutaway Electric. And as you can see, it's got a beautiful cutaway. Don, why would you want a cutaway rather than not having a cutaway? And, and that's a great question. It's one we get all the time. Yeah. Um, for a beginner, it doesn't really make a difference because where you're going to be playing normally is, is up towards the, the nut or up towards the headstock of the guitar. Mm -hmm. um, but as you advance in playing, you're going to move higher up on the neck. Um, which when we talk about that, we're talking about higher in pitch, not higher in actual location. Yeah, people get that mixed up all the it's, time. It's very easy to. Yeah. But when you, if you were playing a full-shouldered guitar, which is what we call them without the cutaway, it's very hard to get up to to the area above the 12th fret. Yeah, like right up in here. So mm -hmm. if I want to play a little... You know, you're not going to be able to do that on a dreadnought or something that doesn't have... Really hard. Yeah. Very difficult no to get up there. Just say. Mm -hmm. So... So, all right, so this is a cutaway, and uh, so it's great for those guys, gals, who are going to be interested in maybe doing a little soloing mm -hmm. or high Absolutely. cording or whatever it is that they decide to do. So, um, we have the Westerly Collection. That is what this is called, and um, it's just a high-end. Yes, it is. It's the high-end area of the Guild guitar, and um, this is an orchestral body, mm -hmm. and the orchestral body is... Really, what I like about it is that it's like really quite like narrow, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of against your body. But why would we want that, Don? Why would we want something what, like this or that shape? What you, when you talk about guitar shapes, you, you talk about, you know, size matters. Um, dreadnoughts and jumbos are going to give you a bigger, rounder, fuller sound, something that's going to going to power through if you're in uh, doing big chords with a band or something like that. Yeah. Um, the orchestra size lends itself more towards a solo guitar, lends itself more towards finger picking, in my opinion. Um, you know, with the, with the size, banging out big fat chords, maybe not so much with an orchestra. Okay. Um, it, you, you've got to be really cautious that you don't overpower the size of the guitar. Yeah. Um, so it's just, you know, one of those things to think about. I, I love them. I think they're, they're awesome. Mm -hmm. um, I like the fact that their hips are a little bit, are a little bit bigger. Um, so it still gives you some of a, of a jumbo kind of a sound yeah. without being a jumbo. Yeah. Sometimes jumbos, I mean, I have a jumbo and I really like it. Uh, but one of the things that I noticed about jumbo guitars is they're fantastic when you're playing them by themselves. or like, you know, mm -hmm. the orchestra with six strings. Yep. Really, it really is. I mean, it's just really beautiful. But the minute you start playing with a band, that's when I run mm -hmm. into some issues. And you, you would think, well, come on, how, you know, you should, with that big guitar, you shouldn't have any issue at all. But it's just not, it doesn't cut through. So what I have to do with my guitar is I have to EQ it. I have to take some mm -hmm. special attention and EQ it properly to get right. it right. But with this type of a guitar, it's just like right out of the gate. It's already cutting right through. You can hear the tone, you know, it's not getting overly muffled in terms yep. of the bass tones and stuff. Sounds really, really good. Wow, listen to that, man. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look here. We have the headstock, and the headstock is actually a rosewood laminate up here, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got, I think they call this what, the Chester? Chesterfield? The Chesterfield. Yeah, the Chesterfield logo. Pretty cool. Iconic. I think he's amazed that I knew that. I, I am a little surprised. I, I think I, he's amazed. I, so. I, he did his homework. That's good. And then we also have um, Indian rosewood. Now this whole axe, this whole thing, when we say the word axe, that's the cool way of calling your guitar. 
this axe is uh, all the rosewood is Indian rosewood, and mm -hmm. uh, Indian rosewood has got a tone about it mm -hmm. that is just pleasant, and it's got a look about it. It looks like a million dollars. I mean, I mean, and I've it, seen a million dollars a stack of it, and I've seen rosewood, and I picked rosewood over the million dollars. I think it was a good call. Yeah, totally good absolutely. call. Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. that's how cool it looks. It's just beautiful. <laughs> if you look at the back here, and this is all solid, you guys. There's no laminate on this guitar at all and uh don you want to share what laminate is for those well, who are like confused about that so when we you, you start when you start talking about laminate you usually start with the top of the guitar um more of the entry level priced guitars um for for folks that are just starting have the laminate tops and what when we say laminate what we're talking about is is a lot of layers usually very thin layers of wood glued together yeah. to make kind of like plywood to make uh to make a, a top of a guitar or in a lot of cases, the back and sides of the guitar as well. Mm -hmm. uh, this obviously is not. Uh, solid, the truth is solid is always better. Um, although some laminates sound pretty good, the truth is solid is always better. Uh, it's just going to give you that fuller, richer, rounder, warm sound that you're looking for from a guitar. Um, it just sounds better. And not only are you buying a piece of art, but you're also buying a guitar that's going to withstand the test of time. And what you have to consider when you're buying a guitar is, okay, a solid top, back and sides is going to cost you more. Absolutely. You know, I mean, so wh where does this guitar fall? This guitar is just under $1,100. Yeah. But so. it does come with a feather-like case. Cool. Um, so it's, it's ready to go out the door. Um, but it's a lifetime guitar. This is not a guitar that you're gonna, you know, outgrow. Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna have this guitar for the rest of your life. What people don't realize is that the wood, you know, is aged before it's created. But once it's been created, once the instrument's been made, what's gonna happen is that time is going to work in your behalf as an owner. And as the guitar ages, you're gonna see the tone of the guitar mm -hmm. begin to resonate even more. You're going to see uh, the richness mm -hmm. and you know uh, overtones that are going to come out of the instrument that you didn't hear before. So it's going to be like Christmas morning every year with your instrument because it gets better and better and better with age. Now, when you're dealing with the laminate, though, unfortunately, guys, glue doesn't age. In mm -hmm. fact, glue doesn't age well at all. And so what we have to realize is that there are certain laminates that they will sustain, they will, they will yep. hang on, but when you're talking about paying this kind of money for an instrument, as Don said, it's a lifetime guitar, you want something that's going to get better with age, mm -hmm. and you're guaranteed that with a guitar that's like this, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. It's just Absolutely. really gorgeous. Okay, so we can continue on. This has got the vintage tuners, and so it's kind of interesting. You've got, like, exposed gearing, the... Other type of tuner that many times you'll see is what we call a precision tuner, and that's completely enclosed and, uh, and lubricated. Uh, but I think what they wanted to do with this guitar, I mean, there is sort of a, a there's a, you know, with the vintage element, it's got a look. You know it what does. I mean? It's got an it interesting does. look about mm -hmm. it. It feels kind of like old school, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And Absolutely. Uh, they wanted to add that to this instrument because it is a piece of art, man. It is. You know, it's like the, the old school style. Mm -hmm. And then what we have, too, is, let's see, that neck is made out of a beautiful prime mahogany. And if you can take a look at that, um, mahogany is a very hard wood. But this is just, it's mesmerizing. I mean, it, it's, it's like, it's like three-dimensional when you're looking mm -hmm. at it. It's that beautiful. It is. And, and I like, I like the, the way the mahogany and the uh, rosewood and the spruce all play off of each other. Oh, yeah. Uh, it just makes it just a stunning guitar. Yeah. It, it's a piece of art, guys. I mean, that's what you're buying, and you need to, you need to realize that. If you want, um, but what do they say? Uh, you know, I mean, guitars are meant to be played, right? I mean, you that's don't... Guild's tagline. <laughs> These guitars are meant to be played. Right. And, and, so... and they are. So yes, take care of it, but at the same time, they you know they're they're meant to dig in and have some fun with them. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. So again, East Indian rosewood. We're looking at uh, not I, I'm not too sure if it's East Indian, but I know it's Indian rosewood. I know right. I think I blew yeah, that because definitely. my guitar has that. One of my guitars has that. But Indian rosewood. What we're looking at on the fretboard. Obviously, we see it here at the bridge. We're seeing this laminate at the top, which is really cool. And the top is a Sitka spruce, and it's a beautiful book match. If you take a look at this, you can actually probably see it uh, even with the camera and you're gonna see there's on guitars what you're gonna have is you're gonna have a seam and this is natural every guitar has this and what we're doing is we're taking two pieces of wood 
and they're matching those two pieces of wood together. Um, so it looks like a mirrored image, okay, on either side of the guitar. And this one, this Sitka spruce, man, the, the grain is super fine on this. Beautiful. I mean, super wow. fine. And the feathering, mm -hmm. you know, of that feathering look is that is that interesting type of, um, I mean, it's just called feathering. You can see it when you when you when you look at it at an mm -hmm. angle going across, and it's just real gorgeous. And that is an indicator of a really high high valued piece of wood. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's gorgeous, man. Just absolutely gorgeous. And then we have our inlays here. The inlays mm -hmm. are just are just beautiful as well. Uh, so it's a solid top. We talked about that already. Right. So you're not dealing with a laminate top. So it's going to resonate. But Sitka, why are we doing Sitka? Uh, well, it's a higher grade of spruce. Okay. Um, it's just a really nice grade of spruce. Uh, spruce gives you that real punchy, bright sound, um, very much like the, the bluegrass sound mm -hmm. um, uh, because of, of just the nature of the beast. Brighter. Versus, versus a cedar sound, versus a mahogany sound, which are going to get darker and warmer as they go. Gotcha, man. Well, what we see here, too, is, you know, sometimes you'll get a guitar, and we've gotten guitars here at the shop, and um, we see that sometimes they need a little adjustment, you know, when they come in. Oh, yeah. You know? And so for those of you who um, aren't on the backside of what it's like to own a guitar shop, when you get guitars from the manufacturer... Sometimes they need a neck adjustment. Sometimes they need action adjustments. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that you don't realize is that depending on where the guitar is manufactured, these guitars are going to go all over, you know, whether it be the mm -hmm. United States or even the world, to different climates. Absolutely. Okay. So what they do is they try and minimize any damage in shipping. And so what they'll do is they will sometimes... Uh, not tighten the necks up, you know, mm -hmm. in other words, they'll, they'll let the necks be a little bit looser. Sometimes the action is a little bit, you know, uh, higher for whatever, you know, reason. And, and that could be taste as well. You yep. know, maybe the shop will adjust that directly for whoever is buying the guitar. Um, but why am I saying all that? Because this guitar, though, when it came in, Don, did you have to adjust it at all? Not a thing. Right out of the box. <laughs> there was Tune no adjustment. And go. Yeah, yeah, it was, it, it was it's awesome. Like the intonation right out of the gate is like perfect on yep. this guitar, and the action is really great for you know like the uh, you know strumming style mm -hmm. and things like that. It really, really feels good. So the intonation feels great, and a very uh, interesting combination of uh, of tone. the The rosewood mixed with the Sitka, that's like a that's like it's, a classic it sound, is. isn't it? It absolutely is. Uh, and we've got both the, the, the rosewood as well as the mahogany back and sides with the Guild Sitka spruce tops. And you can really hear the difference between the instruments. It's, it's really a great um, sample and example of, of why you might gravitate to one over the other. Which means we don't buy guitars online. Absolutely not. Yeah. Especially not acoustics. Yeah, and even though, and we're not trying to, uh, you know, put anybody down. All we're trying to do is say to you, the uh, potential person who's going to be buying and, and, and we call it adopting guitars, <laughs> That's right. okay, you know, this is, this is, a, this is an adoption service That's right. we have here. That's we, right. We, we, we help in the adoption Forever process. homes. The point is, is that you cannot get a full understanding of the instrument. No. Online, and that's true even for electric guitars because you can have two of the same exact makes and models, and they don't sound the same. No, nope. they, they don't, don't play the same. You know, so it's imperative that you go to a store and check it out. You know, and well, here at Wickham Road Music, we encourage everyone not only just to come on in, but we encourage you to play every instrument and to have the opportunity to really see what that guitar is going to sound like. Absolutely. You know, our rule here is, is you can't buy it if you haven't put your hands on it. Oh, yeah. Um, you, you have to play it. You have to feel it. it they are very different. And, and, you know, you'll get the picture online of X. And when you get it, it won't be X. No. Because that wasn't the guitar they took a picture of. It's yeah. just nature of the beast. So you need to get out there. You need to, you know, come to the, you know, come to the shop and check out, uh, you know, what is on the wall. We've got Absolutely. a massive guitar wall here that is filled with beautiful guitars. And, uh, you know, you can definitely A, B those guitars. And the other thing is, too, is I'm sitting here, I'm kind of finger-picking this thing. Let me just kind of give it a little go here. And so, then I'm going to have you do a little strumming because okay. we want to hear what it sounds like. So...
What are you hearing over there, man? Man, listen to the, listen to the mids in that thing. It's yeah. just incredible. It's just such a nice balanced sound. Wow. So when you say mids, so it's kind of like a throaty sound. It's got, it's like pushing. Yeah. It's yeah. cutting through. Is what you're saying? Exactly. You, okay. It's, but it's not overpowering. It's, gotcha. it's, it's not so bright that that. Because I, I tend to not like bright guitars. Mm. I'm much more of a, of a darker, richer, mahogany kind of guy. Mm. Um, but this guitar with the spruce top doesn't beat me down with the brights. I don't believe you. It doesn't beat me down with the brights. I swear. <laughs> I swear. something that's sonically rich and um, the way that it's sized as well being that it's an orchestra model it feels great on your body and so it's not going to wear you out you know if you're standing and having to play this at a gig or you're playing for church yep. or whatever you're playing you know you're not going to sometimes those those, those uh, other you know whether it be a dreadnought or especially like the big jumbo guitars mm -hmm. as beautiful as they are you know, I mean, after a while, I mean, you're you're kind of leaning over that thing, and yep. there, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of guitar to wrap your arm around, and so if you're a smaller posture, that could be tough for some people. What? Like me, uh, you know, for me, this guitar fits really nicely. Uh, I'm not a, a huge person, um, but it gives me that that jumbo sound because of the wide hips that I really like. Yeah. Um, without having to to be over like that. Beautiful. So. So my hope is that you guys got a lot out of this. There are other guitars here that you need to check out, and uh, we have other videos as well uh, as we're going through um, our reviews. And we just want to make sure that uh, you have an opportunity to, uh, you know, research before you buy, you know, or Absolutely. research even before you go out, um, you know, over to the, you know, or let's come out to our music shop and you know, to know what's going on. And so we are a full line music store. We've got you know electrics, acoustics, uh, all different types of brands, all different types of models. And um, really, if anything with strings, we're all about it. Strings, wind, electronics, you name it, we have it. We are a full line music store. Band and orchestra, all of it. Yep, rentals as well. So uh, and we give lessons, and so that's something that uh, we also. Uh, uh, we love to do and uh, so we're going to leave you with that if you have any further questions please check us out wickhamroadmusic.com and we'd love to hear from you